I don't think everyone understands mental health very well. It looks very different. Amy Robinson is a former nurse, assistant principal, and mom of seven. She left her job to care for her 13-year-old adopted son full time. He has several mental health diagnoses. Um, I think there will be more once we get him settled. He was just airlifted to a long-term treatment facility in Virginia after a 47-day stay in an ER because there's a six to nine month wait for him to get into a facility here at home. It's been hard, hard when he's been home too. I mean, there's been a lot of trauma. We live in a home with cameras in every room. <laughs> we have locks and alarms on doors. Um, just to keep everyone safe. He's been in and out of facilities like Hampstead Hospital and ERs for over a year and was removed from the facilities because they couldn't handle his needs. I see hearts that want to help, but I see huge gaps. She tells us there needs to be better infrastructure in these facilities, like surveillance video that records, and there needs to be more resources available when the child comes back home, and says often when a child needs this kind of care, they can't wait months to get the treatment they desperately need. These kids not being where they need to be, being out in the community, aren't safe. She says she fears for her child and others like him, concerned what could happen if they don't receive the care they need while still young and change is still a possibility. I think the sooner we attack the problem and hopefully can heal someone and help them become a productive member, then the less criminal activity we'll have later on. In Portsmouth, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.